I got this beautiful necklace in Peru and it's a long necklace that you kind of wrap around in circles and I've worn it several times and I've never had I haven't had any issues but right now I've been like untangling it for about 20 freaking minutes and I'm going crazy right now because I can't get it off and I want to preserve this necklace because it's so special to me and um Lighting is so crazy. Let me put this right here. Jesus. That's a little better lighting. So, let's see if I can do this to preserve this necklace. Oh my gosh, I wish I had some kind of expert bead person here who knows how to untangle beaded necklaces. Because clearly, I'm just tangling things even more. Good lord. Where did I put this? Ugh. Ugh. Can you see that? This, look at this, it's like the length of this necklace. Like, is that a window behind me? It's not. Well, the window there, but it's so bright in here. Okay, let's see how this goes. I just continue to tangle it even more. Kind of seems like what I'm doing. <laughs> um, gonna take this loop to this loop. See if that does anything. There's this group that I go to that's super awesome on one mo mo Monday and went Thursday night. And I was like, if I can't get this in five minutes, I'm not going because um, it's not enough time for me to get stuff that I'm working on done. And I wanted to take this off because I wanted to put on a mask and take a bath. Um, I mean, I could totally do those things with this on, but it's like really restricted on my neck and it's irritating me. I don't like the feelings of being held back or something or someone restricting me from doing what I want. And I feel like I'm being restricted right now. And I started getting really frustrated, but then I was like, this is, God is teaching you a lesson. I told that to myself. It's like, what is it, the lesson that God is teaching me right now? It's patience and uh, due, due diligence, due diligence, am I saying that word right? Due diligence. And um, just having faith that everything's going to work out. <sighs> I'm breathing through this. Like, I'm so grateful that I even have the physical capability to even make these movements with my body and that I'm awake that I'm completely aware of what I'm doing right now and I'm trying to um, do something with my life right now. And what I'm doing with my life right now is untangling this dang necklace that is choking me. Um, hey, you gotta make things fun sometimes, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, I honestly do not know how this happened. It's like so, <laughs> it's like a little leash. You're like, somebody take me on a walk right now. <laughs> Oh goodness, little by little, one little string at a time, it will come undone. Cause I mean, I could easily just tear this off, but then the beads would go everywhere and I would lose this precious ancient necklace that I got in Peru last week. <laughs> um, just kidding, it was probably made this year. But it's a fact that um, it's such a beautiful design. I got it when I was in Peru. I had amazing, at amazing time when I was in Peru and a really healing time. And plus I just love this necklace. It's, I just know next time that when I wear it to be a little extra cautious and peculiar about the way I take it off. Like it was easily able to come off but then I just, I got frustrated and I started like 
tugging on things and it just made everything in a knot worse. And um, yeah, just practicing gratitude that I'm breathing on my own, that I have motor function to do this, that I can do this with my own fingers, that I can process this and that I'm able to regulate my nervous system naturally, which I did do some breath work. And I was like, what do, what do I need right now? And I needed to go pee, which I did. And um, I took a breath and I relaxed. And I started praying to God to please help me. I screamed a couple times and that there's nothing wrong with that. I think that's good to um, let out some air um, and let out some fire or energy uh, when you're frustrated at times, especially if it is in a way that no one's gonna get hurt, neither are you and, uh, or myself. <sighs> Almost there. Almost there. Um, I see it unwinding a little bit better. It's getting untangled. A little by little. Just following the pattern of this extremely long necklace. Like I had to measure it out to see how long this necklace really is. It's like six feet. My hair keeps getting in the way. Um, let's see this. I keep. God dang it. God dang it. <laughs> Goodness. Let's see. Prosperity is what I'm looking for in terms of life business success and with this necklace I want to preserve this necklace uh, and you know it's good to um, think about the way that you talk the way that you phrase things the way that you think about things because so many of us are conditioned to to think that we got to say what we don't like and what is not working like it's good to know your preferences for sure but it's better to focus on what is working and what you like. And that seems kind of counterintuitive, but honestly, like everything's working in my favor right now. Literally, I, in the past, I probably would have been so pissed right now and probably would have just ripped this necklace off. I probably would have cried, I probably would have screamed. I was yelling out of frustration, um, but that was the moment where I, it, the necklace was like really tight on my neck and I was like, God, please help me get this necklace off my neck. Um, ah. <laughs> but after I calmed my nerves and I made a physiologic change within my body, I was able to relax a little bit easier and take a perspective that was a little bit lighter than what I was feeling in that moment, which was frustration. And there's nothing wrong with being frustrated. Um, it's just that there's always a solution to things, you know, it's not like it's the end of the world. If I lose this necklace, if I don't get it untangled, or if this necklace breaks, or if I die from this necklace, you never know how things go. I'm sure that God has a, a big plan for me in regards to this necklace getting tangled around my neck and kind of choking me. Um, like I'm able to breathe and I can breathe on my own, like the necklace is getting looser and um, untightened or untangled. And um, I'm just grateful that I'm able to change my perspective so quickly and that I'm able to reflect. And I'm grateful that I can regulate my nervous system naturally, um, which I'm getting so much better at, you know, like emotional, emotional um, or emotions as well. Um, I used to not have any emotional intelligence and I used to depend a lot of my feelings on things outside of me and um, ways that I would feel bad or good because of things outside of me. And that's still something, oh no, that's still something that I'm working on um, in terms of 
needing things to be a certain way outside of me for me to be okay and feel good. Um, which is, it's a practice that takes time. And um, there's still definitely some times where I am needing an external situation to be a certain way for me to feel okay. And I recognize that, but I'm getting so much better about unconditionally feeling good without the need. Oh, my, my, my zipper's been down this whole time. Whoops. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, yeah, I reflect on that a lot. And I realize, um, I think, you know, it's like, am I a phony? Am I someone that is, you know, making an image for myself where I'm trying to be like spiritually aligned? awaken blah 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 but yet I still experience anxiety and I still think that I need things outside of me to be a certain way for me to feel good and feel okay like things being the way that you like it outside of us is nice it's really good and that is an indication that your faith is strong and in, in your higher power and that you're in alignment with your higher power um, but it's like when the conditions change, because there's constant changes in this world, um, there's constant changes within nature, there's constant change within, with changes within your body because we're all organic matter and we're on a rock that is alive pretty much, that has its own ecosystem, that has its own systems to sustain itself. And um, it's, they're ever-changing things. They're things that are constantly changing. And if you're not okay with changes and you're not okay with disruption and you're not okay with this and that and things not going your way, then it's like, you're gonna have a really hard time in life because life is perfect in a spiritual sense in that everything is the way that it's supposed to be. But with the human psyche and the way that society has programmed us to believe is that things are to be a different way from what it presents itself, if that makes any sense. A little bit confusing at first, but circling back to my current experience, everything is really good in this moment. Like so many things are working in my favor. I'm alive. My hands are in good function. I don't have pain in my body. I'm able to walk. I'm able to sustain myself to stand. I'm able to sustain my concentration to unwind this necklace. I'm able to um, calmly deal with this, even though I'm being, I'm a little bit uncomfortable. Um, I'm not that uncomfortable. This is not my preference. Like I'm trying to change what is going on that is, I'm putting on my body right now, but you know, this was the necklace that I chose to wear and it was nicely wrapped around my neck multiple times, but it got tangled and I have to deal with untangling it, which is fine because the lesson that I'm learning is patience and persever perseverance, perseverance. There's some words in English right now that I'm having a hard time pronounce for some reason. Uh, Oh, and the feelings that I will feel when I get this off, but the feelings that I feel right now are a lot of gratitude and joy just for being alive and for my entire existence because one day I won't physically be here and I won't have the opportunity to do anything physical, like untie this freaking necklace or untangle this necklace. Because in the physical, we're here, but it's temporary. Excuse me. <laughs> um, it's a temporary thing that we get a gift we get to experience. Like life is supposed to be fun. Life is supposed to be good. And life is supposed to be enjoyed. It's like we're not here to um, just fit society, society's um, terms or society's standards. Like constantly working. Like, okay, working is good. But 
working on your passion, working, having a job or a career or a way to make income or a way to just do things um, that your drives your heart and that drives your soul. Um, and that's not at the expense of your health, but in that you're helping other people. Like that is the ultimate gift is to truly help other people because that's what we're here for as human beings is to to help each other out and to evolve and preserve our our human race we're supposed to evolve and reach higher levels of intellect and consciousness not just intellect but we're all supposed to reach a higher level of consciousness i believe that everyone reaches higher consciousness everyone reaches peace in their lifetime and it may not be in this physical form but when people die everyone reaches a higher form of consciousness and that is a fact because when you die there is something called dmt that is released from your brain i don't know what the full acronym is i don't remember it at least oh excuse me you know there's a little entry um but it is released for us to be able to accept the transition. And the transition is from the physical to the non-physical. And when we're in the non-physical, everything is all peace, love, and grace, and joy, and everything that we need and want is available. And that is awesome, and that's like what we want in this lifetime, and we can get that to a certain extent um, but it really comes from within ourselves and it comes from us strengthening our connection with our higher power and I like to call that God I used to be really religious and I did not even have this close connection that I do now with the higher power when I was religious let's see if this goes is it loose and little? Oh my god. Um, yeah, it's a crazy phenomenon. You know, I had such, like, I was confused. I had so many um, wrong ideas or incorrect or mistaken ideas about what was God. And I did used to talk to Jesus a lot. I still talk to Jesus and I meditate with him. Um, but I used to talk to them or him and um, I didn't understand that I was already good. I used to think I was all bad and that stuff, so many things were wrong with me and that I was going to go to hell because of so many things that I've done in my life that were mistakes because I've made a lot of mistakes in my life and I definitely have suffered the consequences of those mistakes, but I've survived them all. And I feel, oh my gosh, I'm getting stuck in this loop right here. I feel so much more freedom from that shame and guilt. You know, I'm definitely still working on myself, but I definitely feel a lot of feelings of freedom and I'm not perfect. You know, there are a lot of times where I forget my faith and I forget the powerful human being that I am and how um, everything's going to be okay. Like, even if it's not, like in this physical world, even if there's like some kind of tragedy where I physically am damaged or something or harmed by another human being like everything is still good and um, I still have a chance to practice forgiveness feel freedom I am stuck in the loop right here those things are difficult, you know, but when you're in alignment with your true soul's purpose and you have like faith in yourself 
and faith in a higher power, which your higher power is within yourself, um, your life goes nicely. And I can attest to that because when you start truly, um, what do I say, manifesting, per, uh, um, just having faith, feeling good about yourself, and you feel good and you... You do want to help the world. You do want to make a positive impact on the world. You do want to do good things for the world. You will be repaid back with good things because it's like we're in a karmic cycle of everything. And right now my karmic cycle is this 20 foot freaking necklace. <laughs> oh. oh goodness. I want to keep talking, but I want to concentrate on this necklace at the same time. I'm thirsty. Where does this necklace loop through? Right here. I found it. Can I loop it? No. I want to get it through. Let's see if I can get this through. Let's see if it loosens everything up. Oh, goodness. Oh. Where does this portion go to? It seems like it's stuck right here. There's like this knot. Oh. Excuse me if I pass gas because I'm human. <laughs> and I might just do that. Um, okay. But you know what? I've definitely learned over the years on how to pass gas without making a sound. That's the magic of us ladies is we learn these tactics of doing things with our body. It's secretive. <laughs> I'm sure some guys know about this tactic too, for sure. But it's a lady secret and I will not tell how I do it. Um, yeah, another thing is like not caring about what people think about you, which is something I've worked on for so many freaking years. Because I've cared so much about people talking about me, people talking crap about me, people not liking me, people not liking me for multiple different stupid reasons. And it's like, I have good intentions in this world. I have a good heart and I just want, I want love. I want to love and I want to be treated with kindness. I want to treat others with kindness. And it's like, if you're going to judge me because you feel like I'm wrong or that I'm this or that because you don't like it, then it's kind of like, it's your problem. Um, where am I going with that? Yeah, I was just saying, releasing that need to please people. And it's something that I learned from my mother. And it's okay, you know? We all learn stuff from... I was going to tell you that, yeah. We all learn stuff from our parents. We all learn stuff from our family. We learn stuff from TV from society, from friends. We go through so many stages in life where we learn so much and we can either be taken down by it or we can follow our intuition, our personal intuition, um, and know what's best for us individually. Because everyone's life is their own. Everyone's life experience is different. Um, it doesn't have to be the same for everyone. It is. I should have made this into a live. Damn it, on YouTube. Um, anyways, all of our life's experiences are special and different. And it's all, there's meaning behind everything. And it's random. You know, philosophy likes to... Um, like, there's nothing wrong with philosophy. I actually 
follow a lot of philosophical things. Um, but the whole, my, my personal belief, the whole reason for philosophy is to prove that God doesn't exist, which is fine. You can be an atheist. You don't have to believe in God, but you can believe in higher power. Like God is, to me, is not the way religion presents um, God. Because religion, it's not bad. It is a way for some people to reach peace. And that is absolutely fine. But um, there was something that I heard from this woman that I like to listen to and follow on social media. And she said that the difference between spirituality and religion is that religion likes to focus on all of the light and all of the good stuff. Um, but they like they ignore the dark side. And it's like there's a yin yang and a masculine side to all of us, every single human being. And um, we have to recognize the dark side and spirituality does. Spirituality wants you to work on your shadow, your shadow side and wants you to um, do inner child work like from past pains. And um, ugh, I'm stuck in a knot right now. I'm not country, but I feel like talking in a country accent for some reason. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's good to recognize your dark side and the pain that you've been through and see how you can transmute the pain that you've experienced in your life and use it to evolve. Use it to evolve to a higher state of consciousness, to higher levels of peace, to so many different things that uh, come along the lines of spirituality. Will I ever get this necklace off me? I don't know. I'm dying of thirst. And I could easily go get myself my cup of water. And which reminds me is that I left a cup of water outside of my house. Because I was sitting out there working on something. Um, yeah. I mean... Pray for me right now. I'm trying to get this loop. Where is this loop stuck? Mm -mm -mm. I feel like it's flat, but it's not pulling. I think that I might have found it. Maybe. Maybe, baby. Ooh. Ooh la la. Oh my gosh, I am so blessed because today it just moved and I haven't had any mail delivered to me since October of last year. And you see, I, have a, I was in Peru last week and I was torn up by a bunch of mosquitoes, but then it, um, I use coconut oil all the time on my body, and I developed a reaction to it. So I have like all the this like rash on my arms and my chest from it. So I stopped using the coconut as of yesterday because I was like, because I use I've always used coconut oil and coconut stuff because coconut's so good. But for some reason, my body just reacted. To it and that was just like the one explanation and it's like subsided a little bit since I've stopped using it incorporated into my diet and um yeah the reason why I realized that is because I was fine and then all of a sudden I had some coconut milk and I had like a extreme bloating and so I was like it must be coconut <laughs> so I'm gonna take a little break from coconut till my skin heals and I imagine that my skin is so clear that so smooth like it normally is but it is itch free because I'm pretty scratchy <laughs> so all these mosquito bites all these bug bites, whatever. 
beetle bites, booty bites, I don't know. Um, I'm looking and it looks like I'm going to the end. Oh, there's something in my eye. I love this necklace so much because it's rainbow and it's so unique, it's so long. And no one else probably has this necklace in like where I'm at, like in Arizona and New if I go to New York or Alaska, like no one's gonna have this necklace, most likely. Um, this is probably the fifth or sixth time I've worn this necklace and I have not like gotten so tangled. Like I've never been tangled like this before up until this moment. And I've been on this freaking collar video for like 30 minutes. And I was doing this 20 minutes before, so this has taken like an hour of my time. But the good thing is, is that I'm being present and I'm not really wishing for this. I mean, I'm changing my situation for sure, but um, I'm okay emotionally. I'm fine emotionally. My hormones are good. My nervous system is regulated. Um, I... Well, I did have a little bit of anxiety because of like the tightness around my throat. I don't like being restricted. Like, don't try to stop me. I'm doing something I don't want to do. Okay, that's a mistake. Okay. <laughs> um, but it's teaching me a lot of patience, and I'm able to. I'm wishing that this necklace will stay in one piece so that I can wear it again in the future. And next time I will be a lot more cautious about um, taking it off instead of just tugging on it because that's what I did. That's okay. And I'm missing my group tonight, which is okay. I got things I'm working on that I can get done. And um, who knows, maybe someone might stop by for a visit. That'd be nice. I love when people um, surprise me and just stop by my house. Um, yeah, I mean, I, but I just moved, so not a lot of people will know where I'm at right now or have my address. But the thing is, is I shared it with a bunch of friends. I was supposed to have a bunch of friends come over last night, and then it worked out differently. Like, I made bread last night, and I was so careless. Like, I... <laughs> I made the bread, but I didn't let the uh, yeast ri or like rise or sit in the warm water. Like I just put everything together and it just did not work out. It was like extremely yeasty bread. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't let the dough rise. I just cooked it. Because <laughs> um, I, I feel like I've made bread in the past and um, I didn't remember it being... Like having all these extra steps but the thing is is like I rushed through it and um it was fine the bread didn't get wasted like Sakura my dog she loved it and she ate that <laughs> she ate that bread she freaking loved it um but I know for next time how to cook bread like actually sit and read the instructions um there's some there's a lot of things that we intuitively crap that we intuitively know how to do but there are some things where we honestly really need to follow instructions and guides and get help from other people. Let's see if this is going to tighten it or, yeah, I keep tightening it. Um, I need to get this other portion off. close guys <laughs> let's see it keeps getting caught on like the knobs of the the, ki the kitchen the the sink bathroom and then I had my pants on button and it kept getting caught on the, the 
the, the thing, that little button right there. And so I buttoned it. But yeah, I'm um, honestly at a loss of words, but feeling kind of neutral. And grateful that I'm present, that I'm feeling that this is bringing me back to the present moment because so many of us are, like including myself many times, um, we're so focused like on the past or future things. And being future focused is good, but it's like, it's really important to recognize the present moment because the present moment is really all that there really is, is the present. And, um, cramp. <laughs> Ooh la la. Seems like it's getting looser and looser and untangled and tang untangled and then it gets tangled. And then it goes like this and then like that. There's just like this knot right here. That, mm, ooh. Ooh la la. See, it's like all this Just right there, just that knot right there that's stuck. And yeah, it's important to focus on gratitude all the time, regardless of your situation. Because honestly, I was thinking about it and I was like, you know what, everything is so good. Like my toilet is not exploding, my bathtub is not backed up. My fridge is working, my stove is turning on. Booch, by the way, I have a gas stove and I love it. I love gas stoves. And like gas is staying in the gas stove. Um, Gaston. <laughs> um, that was that name from that prince or that man from Beauty and the Beast that's trying to win Belle. Gaston. Okay, let me get this right here. Like everything is so good right now. Like nothing is exploding around me. Nothing, like everyone that I love is alive that I know of right now. Like we're not at war. And the person that we are at war with is usually ourselves. And it's like we have so much help. We have so many things that help us that are there to help us. Like this group that I go to on, I try to go to on Mondays and Thursdays is called Authentic Re Relating and they're throughout the country in the US. And um, it's all about like present moment feelings and um, being present focused which can be a little bit confusing if you're unaware of the present moment because I used to um, not really be aware of like my emotions or the present moment or what it was like to have emotional intelligence or be emotionally mature. Um, rather, I used to be the exact opposite. Used to be very ego focused, always trying to be right, always trying to prove how much better I am than everyone else and blah, blah, blah. I used to be a completely different person than I am now. And I'm so grateful that I have learned the things that I have and that I have grown, even though it was freaking difficult, the life lessons I had to experience to be able to get this knowledge. Oh my gosh. Like I, I'm still alive. I've survived everything. And I am so grateful for that. There's this one knot. I'm trying to, let's see if this will do anything. Let's see if this works. Yeah, little by little, a little by little. Mm. I don't know where this goes to, but I'm going to pull it through here. My best. Do it like that. Do it like this. Do it like that. Let me try another loop. Ooh la la. 
Lucky kakak Lucky di Instagramnya Per Oh my goodness You know it's so amazing language And just how we express ourselves Oh crap I didn't I'm making a more tangled so I'm gonna redo that Anyways, yeah, how we can express ourselves in so many different ways, and it's not just through language, but through movement, through art, through dance. Oh, I can't wait to get back to dance. I'm uh, on sabbatical right now for a reason, um, which is fine, you know, and I think not being able to move my body like I normally do has really taught me just like this. <laughs> have patience and to like trust the process even though it's taking oh, my back uh, it's taking some time but it just can take a little bit of a reflection um la, 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 la. let's see if I can get this through the loop I'm trying to get this through this loop I have such long nails that they come in handy, but sometimes they don't. I'm not able to grip things. By the way, these are my nails, okay? I mean, they're not, I mean, I've had dirt under them right now. <laughs> um, I actually broke some of them, but naturally, I have pretty strong nails, and I'm proud of that. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to keep this video rolling because I want to see how long this takes. Because I got things I got to attend to. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make some homemade popcorn because I love making popcorn. I'm such a good popcorn maker and I'm so good at it. Like the popcorn I make is so delicious. Like I actually met this guy in Seattle and he told me about this popcorn place that was actually in Seattle, but it was, sh and they shut down or they quit the business or something. And they had like, they were just like a popcorn company. And I told him that I'm, I make really good popcorn. I know it sounds weird, but I don't make just the microwave popcorn. Like I make popcorn on the stove, baby. And I make it in a special way. And sometimes I add some things to it, like chocolate or like some special salt or um, special butter. And um, yeah, it just turns out extremely delicious a lot of the times. I'm gonna turn on this light again. Huh, is that super bright or what? Jesus, super bright. Come on, there we go. There we go. Just a little light to shine on the light. Shine on the necklace. Oh, having faith that this is gonna work out and that this is gonna get resolved. Oh, but that didn't really work that way. It's okay. I'm gonna take this portion off and then I get this portion back to the way it was and then go get some water. Be right back, okay? 